How much does money impact the decision of what film you will make next mm. or what kind of film? Whew, how honest should I be? Well, look, it all starts with the idea, right? So, you know, Use Me didn't have any big stars in it. It's very concept driven, right? Sex sells, sure. So it has that going for it. Uh, and the world of femdom and BDSM does have a built-in audience. So it had those things going for it, plus it's high concept. But let's be honest, if you don't have movie stars, I think your budget is capped at a certain point. So I would think that the way to move into making bigger budget movies is to attract stars. I'm very realistic about that. And I would love to work with movie stars and get the best performance possible out of them. And, and I think you have to make a bunch of stuff without stars just to show that you can direct, show that you can tell a story. That's what I was trying to do with Use Me. Uh, you know, in a sense, it's a calling card so that maybe people who do have a profile will look at that and go, okay, he seems to know what he's doing. I'll take a chance on him. Again, it's the step-by-step -step thing. This is kind of part of my strategy. Hard to get stars for your first movie, but if you make something that's high concept, that um, you know, gets your name out there, gets some runs on the board, that can open doors for the next film and the next film. So then you, because I, I know there's people that like, for their first film, they're asking people to like, you know, donate money, which is friends and family, and that's great, but it's huge chunks of money, which it seems kind of foolish at that point for a first feature. So it sounds like you're very realistic. I think so. I mean, I think I knew, um, you know, I mean, you make shorts for thousands of dollars. Um, making a first feature without stars, I mean, you probably need to do it for half a million or less. I know some people have done it for $5,000 or $10,000 or $1,000. I've heard some crazy numbers. But if you're gonna have crew and some cast and a bit of scale, maybe look up to that half million dollar mark. And then you might potentially recoup that and then your investor might wanna go again on your next film. But, but for sure, you, know, you do need to scale it back. Like I used to write scripts that were like $20 million movies. And then you get to a point, especially after film school, you kind of get smartened up to the business and you're like, well, there's no way that's gonna be my first movie. Maybe that'll be my third movie, but you, you do have to think a little bit smaller in scale for your first movie. Just actually get it made. Just get it made. That's my advice, yeah. Have you always been very practical? I, I think I weirdly have been. You know, because I think to make it in this business, you have to have this bizarre combination of being like a dreamer, daydreaming all day, um, just unashamedly being creative. And however you want to do that, if you want to smoke a joint and lay on your futon and just daydream, that is actually working. That is the definition of working as a writer director, letting your imagination run wild. So you need all of that. On the other hand, you do have to think about dollars and cents. You do have to think about how likely something is to recoup. You do have to think about, okay, what kind of marketable elements do I have in this film? How am I gonna put butts in seats? So for me, it's always going back and forth between the two. And somehow I am lucky I've been able to do that. And you know what, I really credit my sister. I actually, it just occurred to me. My sister's a surgeon, right? Um, so she went through medical school and done all the, I mean, it's been like a 15 year process. Oh, wow. So practical so pragmatic and I think I modeled myself on her a little bit even though I'm in a crazy non-linear industry I kind of saw what she was doing and I thought well I need to be that practical I need to kind of approach it like she's approaching it it's a job I need to think about money I need to think about how long things will take I need to have the same kind of work ethic that she has so I, I think it's probably yeah my sister Rewa probably inspired me to be really pragmatic even as I'm chasing these crazy dreams <laughs>